we're all really happy to see fans back in the stands for pretty much every sporting event, and that includes for the Stanley Cup playoffs. Uh, we've seen the fans at T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. They have upped the number of fans allowed at the Bell Center from 2,500 to 3,500. Uh, it's really cool to see. Uh, but I'm just curious. Do you think the disparity from the uh, the number of fans uh, we see out at T-Mobile Arena compared to what we're seeing at the Bell Center, do you think that makes a difference for, for the Canadians in this series? I, I don't really think it does. Uh, the Canadians brothers were talking about how much they enjoyed playing in front of the fans in Vegas, and they have fed off it also. Uh, it's great to see the fans back. I'm watching the game going, boy, I hope, you know, those people are vaccinated, not a lot of masks in the stands there, and you hope things don't go sideways uh, in Vegas as a result. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. And, you know, 3,500, some people are criticizing the Quebec government. The Bell Centre should be full. I'm, I'm going to applaud the Quebec government for being, let's be safe. You know, it's uh, 2,500 people in the Bell Centre made a lot of noise. 3,500 pe people will make even more noise. Uh, the Canadians fed off the 2,500 people. They'll feed off 3,500. Would, would it be more advantageous than to have 20,000? Probably, yeah. I mean, they blow the roof off that place. Uh, but again, I'm happy the Quebec government's going slow. Uh, let's be safe. Let's get through this thing and move on. Uh, but I don't think it's a really a big difference. I think, and especially in game two, the Canes were able to take the Vegas crowd out of the game pretty much. And I don't think it really had much of an impact. Uh, and there were all, you could also hear some go have go chants in Vegas. Yes. There were Canadians fans in there too. So uh, I don't think it's a really big thing. Uh, it's great to see fans back in. I'm looking forward to 3,500 people at the Bell Center. I'm sure it's going to be loud. There'll be a lot more people outside the Bell Center uh, celebrating. So I don't think it's a big, big deal. No, I don't think so either, especially the, the Montreal fans. They're, they're louder than normal. It's the building that uh, players love to play in. So the 3,500 fans will do their best to make it sound like it's a full, uh, full packed arena. But I wonder about the restrictions for the Vegas Golden Knights because they are exempt from the 14 day quarantine. They come into Canada. They can only go from the hotel uh, to the rink. They can't, you know, go around shopping. They can't get a meal in any restaurant. They have to stay in their hotel floor. If any of that will be a factor for them to just not kind of have that break. And that was a big thing with the bubble last year in Toronto and Edmonton that players kind of felt like they were almost in prison, probably a very nice prison because the hotels are really nice, but yeah. you just don't have that luxury that you do. Uh, you know, if you're even here in Montreal, they have to do the same thing, stay at their home, but they have their home, they've got their backyards and, and they have their families here even though it's a short amount of time that Vegas will be here for these two games, it is just a different uh, uh, thing that they're going to have to deal with here. Uh, but besides that, I don't necessarily think the difference in the crowd will make a big deal. Uh, I'm in agreement. I, I don't think it's that big a deal. Uh, 3,500, that's good. Uh, obviously better than 2,500. It's going the right way, but they're going, you know, cautiously as far as, you know, allowing the numbers in those environments make sure everybody's protected but let's face it when you get down to these games as a player you're focusing at you know on the job what you have to do what you have to be aware of your uh burning concentration if you will is about uh how to win a hockey game and you kind of block out any type of noises other than what's happening on the ice and behind the bench and i think that uh, the canadians uh you know obviously will welcome those uh real loud great fans that they have in the 3500 but they're going to be uh, really concentrating on what they need to do to win the next game yeah and vegas didn't just go from zero fans to a full house either they gradually they started off like 2500 and then they bumped it up to seven and 12 and then just the last few games they've, they've had a full house there so uh you know i'm sure the canadians uh advanced to the stanley cup final uh, we'll probably see the numbers go up a little bit more but again i'd rather i'm, I'm happy the government's playing this on the safe side yeah, I'm happy to see fans in the stands. I'm happy to see them outside. Uh, not as happy uh, when they get so rowdy to the point that police is needed and then there's all the other ruckus there. Uh, that could be a little bit scary, especially when you're getting out of an arena and having to run away from police darting towards you. But that's a story for another time. <laughs> Let us know in the comments section how you feel about 3,500 fans compared to 2,500 fans or if it really makes a difference compared to what the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas is able to hold. 
Uh, also visit hockeyinsideout.com to check out our full episode and subscribe. There's the big red button where I don't know what color it is on YouTube anymore. I think it's red, actually. Yeah, so subscribe. Do it right now. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.